from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Hello, I'm Juan Felipe Herrera, U.S. Poet Laureate. I'm right here at the Library of Congress in the Hispanic Division Reading Room, and I'm with Catalina Gomez, a reference librarian, and she's showing me this Huejotzinco Codex, which is going to be part of the El Jardín, which is part of the Casa de Colores. And of course, El Jardín is all about bringing our resources available right here to the public at large. And Catalina, can you tell us more about this uh, Huejotzinco Codex? Sure. So this is the Huejotzingo Codex. Uh, this is a part of a testimony that the Nahua Indians in the town of Huejotzingo in Mexico, um, they produced this testimony as part of a, a lawsuit against uh, the, the Spanish crown in, in Mexico. Um, the, um, the viceroys, the, basically the treasurer uh, in this part of, of Mexico during the conquest, uh, his name was uh, Nuno de Guzman. He uh, was uh, heavily taxing the Indians. Um, and they uh, began a lawsuit um, to, to protest against this excessive tra uh, taxation. So this document was presented in, as part of this testimony in Mexico first. Uh, it's, we have here eight sheets. Uh, I believe the entire code, uh, uh, codex is larger, but these are eight sheets of this document. And it's, um, they basically um, list uh, all of the objects and items that they were being being taxed um, using a very particular numerical and symbolic um, um, numerical symbols basically and we see here a large amount of turkeys a lot of corn uh, slaves that they had to sell in order to get um, feathers to make uh, banners we have a, a, a really remarkable um, banner that they're saying that they had to make and it's actually the first representation of the Virgin Mary um, that um, um, indigenous group uh, ever produced. Uh, documents show that uh, some years later the king actually um, ordered um, um, the, the crown to to return two-thirds of all of all of these um, taxes back to to the people of Wilzingo. Uh, and again this codex was produced in the year of um, uh, 1531 so it's 10 years after the conquest. Um, which was, which was in uh, 1521. This is actually a, a facsimile copy of the original. The Library of Congress has the original uh, codex here. This is a facsimile copy, which was actually made uh, out of the same paper, um, Amate paper. I'm looking forward to this. I really am. It's going to be fabulous. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.